Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Angel spirit guides, ancestors, and man of the highest, highest, highest light. Right? Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective. All right. Something about autumn. Something about fall or something about harvest. I feel like you all have planted the seeds and now you are reaping the rewards of the seeds that you have sown here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, you yes, I feel like you all could have been working on something since the fall, y'all. Cuz you had autumn and then look at this card right here, earth. Don't that look like fall? You see those leaves and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, something definitely is significant about the fall time. Okay, somebody here could be an earth sign, somebody here could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. <coughs> Okay, feminine. I feel like you all are in your power right now. Look at this woman. I feel like you all are in your power. Just look at her. She looks like she ain't to be messed with. Just look at her. Her third eye look is on a thou wow. It looks like she got magical powers or something, don't it? That's just it's just how she looks. Y'all, it could be something about the way you just look. You know what I'm saying? It's like people could know not to not to play with you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're loving, you're kind, you're sweet, you're angelic, but you got this side of you that's like, y'all, I'm kind of getting like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like you got like an alter ego. I feel like you got this other side of you. That people just know not to F with here. Okay? Like, you can play with me if you want to. You know what I'm saying? And some of y'all might not... You may not even do anything too much in the physical. But, baby, when I tell you God and your angels and your spirit guides and your ancestors do not play about you. And, see, this is what people have to realize that you could be so peaceful on the physical. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like... When you shed a tear or you cry or somebody mess with you, baby, God don't like that. He he dang near about to send an earthquake, a tornado, a typhoon, a a, a, a Wi-Fi or something to get ready to finna get ready to go on, child, when they mess with you. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't bother nobody. All right. You're one of God's favorites. All right. You're a part of the hundred and forty-four thousand. All right. The angels in the spiritual realm, they favor you. And baby, when you shed a tear, when somebody mess with you, baby, it is a wrap. Do you hear me? It's a wrap and then you got truth. That's the truth. That is the absolute truth here. All right? You all could be an ascended master. All right? Yeah, I definitely feel like people was trying to cast illusions here. Okay, you had people because you got um uh, you got confusion and then you got spy. All right, this spy comes to been coming out, and this is a whole different deck. Okay, this is a whole this is a deck I don't even hardly use like that. All right, but collective, you had people that I feel like was casting illusions when it comes to who you are, what you stand for, your character, and everything. I feel like you had a lot of people. Uh, maybe in your community or your neighborhood that was lying on you. And you had these people that was listening to these people. The lies that was going around about you, people didn't try to do their own research. People didn't try to get to know you for themselves. They didn't so try to seek the truth. These are people here that heard things about you and they just went with it. You know what I'm saying? They could have bullied you. You know what I'm saying? They could have tried to assassinate your character. But they, it's like they had the, these people was even under illusions. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to keep these people confused. And they had, they could have had people watching you. They could have had people spying on you. You know what I'm saying? All because of these lies. But these people, like I said, was confused. 
shoot something that they could have been doing something to uh cloud these people judgment and whatever something is about neptune as well okay but definitely you had people i feel like keeping a very close watch on you collective and spying on you and watching you because maybe these people just didn't couldn't believe that you are who you say you are you all could be very gifted you could have a whole lot of hidden knowledge all right you could be a psychic you know you can have gifts and they're real. Like whatever it is that you say, it comes true. You know what I'm saying? When people come to you, especially if you got a, a spiritual business, when people come to you, it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you predict, it comes true. You know what I'm saying? You get dreams. It's like you can see things through images. You can have all of the clears. And maybe these people were watching you. You know what I'm saying? Because of the information that you put out. And they wanted people to look at you as crazy. Because they didn't want these people to believe the things that you put out. That's Yes, that's what it is, collective. You all could be a psychic and very intuitive. And you have a whole lot of hidden knowledge. And you had somebody or some people here that was trying to make you out to seem like you was crazy. Or you didn't know what you was talking about. You ain't no real psychic. You ain't no prophet. You a fake. You a phony. And just spreading horrible lies on you to make you look bad and make people clown you so people wouldn't take you seriously. Because of the things that you know and you speak about. Because it's the absolute truth. Everything that you speak about and everything that come out your mouth is the absolute truth. But you had people here that were scared. Of your knowledge. How does she know that? Where does she get this from? So they didn't want you to speak on certain things. And people watch you. And people be like that. Be looking at the other people funny. Because you so on point with the stuff that you talk about. You so on point with the stuff that you predict. And these are people that didn't want to be exposed. And you might not have ever said no names or nothing. But these people felt seen. And they wanted people to look at you as crazy so people wouldn't take you seriously for, for you putting out certain... This is like you saying, it's going to be some people that's going to try to uh, stick up a, a, a Chinese spot. I, I, I got a dream that it's going to be something that's going to happen into a Chinese spot, Right? And if somebody that come across your channel or you done told somebody that it got out and, and it actually happened. You see what I'm saying? You predicted that somebody was going to do something at that location or, or some type of restaurant or something like that. And it came true. These people want to know how you know that. How did you know these people were finna go do that? How did you know it was that location or these type of people? How did you even know it was going to be a Chinese restaurant? How did you know it was going to be there? How did you know? So these are people that wanted to make you seem crazy because they didn't want people to take you serious because of the things that you know because it's real. And it could be people that maybe didn't take you serious at one point. Come on now. A lot of times when you tell people you psychic, what's the first thing they say? Oh, look at Miss Cleo. You know what I'm saying? She don't know what she's talking about. She up there taking folks money, selling these folks dreams. But no, 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 baby. When these people really start to see that you on point and you know what you be talking about and, and stuff that you say be on the news right after that or it happened in your community, in your neighborhood, then they start being scared. So that's when these people try to group up together. And what they try to do, they start, they wanted people to look at you like you was crazy. Okay. So they wanted people to be confused about you. They wanted people to outcast you. They wanted people to humiliate you. They didn't want nobody to take you serious. They didn't want nobody to mess with you. Come on now. You know too much information. If you know all the information about what's going on and people support you, it's going to get out. So they wanted people to look at you and clown you. They didn't want them to listen to what you're saying. Come on now because it's going to expose them. So what they do, they had these people spying and watching and laughing at you and making a mockery out of you. They didn't want them to listen to what you had to say. They didn't care what you had to say. The only thing they wanted to do 
was was mock you, harass you, stalk you, laugh at you, humiliate you. Why? Because you know too much. Yeah. Collective, you got offer. You got renewal. I feel like this situation caught you, taught you. I said caught you. Somebody finna get caught. Caught you. Caught you. Caught you. Somebody, somebody. Y'all. Somebody here finna get ready to get caught. Y'all heard how I said that on accident. Caught you. It's finna be some current people that's finna get caught for whatever it is that they've been doing. They've been spying on you. They've been watching you. They've been harassing you. And they finna get ready to get caught. Red handed. Now, you got self love. Okay. You all, I feel like this situation that you went through, it caused you to love yourself because you had so many people against you. You had so many people lying on you. You had people outcasting you. You could have had your whole city almost going against you off some lies because people was into criminal activities and they didn't want you to expose the stuff that they was into. So this situation taught you how to love yourself because you might have not had love for nobody else from nobody else. So you ain't had no choice but to love yourself. You had to love yourself and you got love from God. It could have been just you and God. And if you got kids, your kids, they could have even tried to turn your kids against you. But it didn't happen. Self-love. You got renewal. I feel like whatever this is that you went through, you can finally, it's like now you're finally getting your ump back. You're getting your confidence back. You know what I'm saying? Like things are going good in your life. Things are balancing out in your life. You know what I'm saying? Even if people are still trying to do things to you and whatever, I still feel like this is you. You know what I'm saying? Even you see how she's standing alone. You the light in the darkness. Your light irritated these people demons. You know what I'm saying? It's like you still got that spark. These people couldn't dim your light. You still the light in the darkness. They couldn't dim it. They actually made you better. You a renewed. You renewed. You could this this you could have went through a death and a rebirth. I feel like y'all actually died. This situation like killed you. I feel like y'all did. I feel like this situation kind of killed y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like they tried to break you down to build you back up their way. But it didn't happen that way. So God had you under construction. It's like all of this was meant to cause you to love yourself a little bit more. Okay? You all could have, your, your gifts could have increased. It made you more aware. You got way more knowledge. The one thing that they had these people stalking you for and harassing you for, you got more of. So they wanted to break your confidence. You got more confidence. They didn't want you to love yourself. Now you're loving yourself even more. And then you see this creation. They wanted to, to, they didn't want you to uh, do something that was creative. They didn't want you to be smart or they didn't want people to look at you as smart. You're still creative. You're still coming out doing something, something creative. You, it's something that you're doing. It's a creative endeavor that you're doing and you could be making money from it here. You know what I'm saying? But you never lost your ump. This situation actually made you better here. Okay. Yeah, and you got a love offer coming in here as well. All right. A love offer is coming in. All right. Somebody here love you. Somebody want to be with you. All right. And I'm also getting that it's a lot of chemistry. All right. Between you and this lover that's getting ready to come in and give you this offer here. You all have been through a lot. And it's like God is about to bless you. 
all right, tremendously, like for your hardships here, all right? But this situation actually made you better. It has increased your beauty, your confidence. You have made more money. Everything is going better for you in your life here, okay? And these people, it could, they just couldn't dim your light no matter how much they tried. They tried to, but they couldn't. Yeah. And even if it is, some people still trying to assassinate your character or whatever, y'all. Okay? You got people, I feel like, that's taking the rose-colored glasses off. Rather, you had a whole lot of people that was confused at one point and was listening to these people. It's like these people, after a while, and it could have took... It could uh, it could have took a while for these people to see the truth that these people were lying on you. It could have took these people a long time. But I feel like after watching you and spying on you for so long, these people start to see, wait a minute. Everything that you said about this person, it can't be true. You know what I'm saying? You you finna have people that's wanting to come in. And ask for your forgiveness. They want to apologize for attacking you. Or being involved with these people. That was attacking you. Because they're seeing the truth. Or the truth I'm telling you is getting ready to come out. Why these people really did what they did. These people was involved. I'm, look y'all. I can't even make it up. Look these people finna be suffering. You finna have these people that came up against you. Dog what is going on with the focus. See these people didn't want you to focus. They didn't want you to focus. On nothing. They didn't want you to focus on the things that you needed to be focused on. They wanted you to focus on them attacking you. They wanted you to be focused on the people that don't love you. They wanted you to be focused on uh, the humiliation. They didn't want you to work on, if you wanted to start a business, they didn't want you to work on that. Or if you already had a business, they wanted your sales to go down because they wanted you to be in a lack mindset, thinking that something ain't going to work out. Or they didn't want people to support your business. They, they wanted your numbers and sales to go down. Or they wanted you to feel unloved and all of that. They didn't want you to focus on all the good things. They wanted you to focus on all of the bad and the negative things. They wanted to break your confidence. You hear me? And it's like every time you started to go down, God lifted you back up. Every time. Every time they attacked you harder, God lifted you up even more. He like, no, 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 no. These people are finna be suffering. This is how they wanted you. They wanted you in lack. They wanted you to be suffering. And now they're finna be suffering. Just like this. Yeah. Yeah, you all about to see the fruits of y'all labor. Y'all seeing the fruits of y'all labor here. All right, yep, yeah, baby. These people right here, I'm y'all didn't I say it's gonna be some type of disaster? Didn't I say God don't play about you? Didn't I say that y'all? And y'all didn't I tell y'all I don't use this deck a lot. But let me just show you the card that just came out. Don't behind this man right here. Don't it look like it's 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 a whole storm, a bad storm behind him or something like that? And you see how he got his face covered up? He outside and he got his face covered up and whatever. Y'all, and look at some birds up there. Birds could be communicating with y'all. It's going to be some type of message. You're going to hear something about these karmic people that grouped up against you and tried to have you in lack, that tried to bully you and isolate you uh, and all this kind of stuff, y'all. These people right here finna be, I'm telling you, they finna be humiliated. They wanted you to be humiliated and outcast. Didn't want people to support you or nothing like that. Was doing spell work on you. Was gang stalking you. I'm God don't play about you. You see that storm behind this man and you see how he trying to cover up his face when he going outside. These people finna try to cover up their face. They're going to be wearing shades, dark shades. 
They they could have had their car fishbowl and now they finna go get tent because they don't want to be seen. They gonna be humiliated. Cause I'm telling you, ain't no telling who all these people were that grouped up together to gang stalk you and harass you. I'm telling you all because of the things that you know. They wanted people to look at you crazy and humiliate you because they didn't want to be exposed. And these people grouped up with these people and didn't even know why. That's why. These are people that's involved in murders, robberies, kidnapping, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, and maybe you knew about it. And they ain't want these people to know that they was involved in these things. So they wanted these people to laugh at you and make a mockery out of you. You know what I'm saying? When I tell you, God, don't play. Look at this behind this man. This person, deep, some of these people finna unalive themselves. Or they or they feeling like they want to take themselves out. Because they finna be humiliated so bad. Y'all, these are people in high places too. That you would never think that's involved in certain type of things. And you can know things about these people. And these people like, oh, I don't want it to get out over my dead body. I'm telling you. Watch what I say. Y'all finna be seeing some things on the news. The news could even be contacting you. Something is finna get ready to come out about these people. It's huge. I feel like these gang stalkers, like it's huge, y'all. I feel like it's a lot of them. I'm talking about this ain't no 10, 15, 20. Like, no. It's like thousands of them, y'all. I'm telling you, it's thousands of them. It's a, it's a lot of them. They don't be wanting certain stuff to come out so they group up and click up together to uh, intimidate people that got certain gifts, platforms, or anything like that. If they get an inkling that you psychic or you you a tarot reader or you know things, oh baby, you finna be on the target list. They gonna target you. It's called a TI. You a target now. You now you on their target list, and now they finna watch you and stalk you and your kids and your family and all of that kind of stuff. And they gonna be trying to do things to cause you lack. They're going to be trying to do things to you physically and spiritually. But when I tell you whatever these people did, it's going to go back to them. This man can't even walk outside without covering his face up. Because people are not laughing and mocking him. And that's how these people finna be. And you finna be seeing a lot of stuff on the news. These people finna experience lack. And some of them finna be unalive. Watch what I say. I ain't making nothing up. I ain't making nothing up. These people wanted people confused when it came to you. Because, see, they didn't want people to know what they were doing. I'm telling you, some of these people are involved in murders, sex trafficking, drug trafficking. I'm telling you. These people are, are some of these people are pedophiles. I'm telling you. Some of these people mess with their own family. And maybe you knew about all these things and all these people's secrets. So they wanted to outcast you. They wanted to target you. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. Conflict triggers. You was triggering these people because you knew too much. Collector. You knew too much. You was triggering these people. It was women and men involved. Look at them. I'm telling, and then on the phone back there, it says, you're scaring me. I'm telling you, you was triggering these people. They were upset. Some of these people don't even know you. They don't even know you, but they know what you do. And they know the gifts that you have. And they wanted to take you out of here because you knew too much. Y'all, I, I I can't even make it up. Look, I can't make it up. Look, you got soul ties in reverse. These people ain't, these people, if they did have people around them, you know what I'm saying? Rallying with them, people that they felt like loved them like that. If they had ties in with the police or judges, lawyers or uh, big bankers or doctors and nurses and the head of the nursing or whatever. They ain't got these ties now. People finna start walking away from these people. I'm telling you because the truth finna come out on why these people did what they did to you. It's because a lot of these people is involved. I'm telling you, you got 
some doctors that may be involved in really unaliving somebody. They know they could have saved these people, but they purposely let them flatline. I'm telling you, you got people that did this stuff and you could know about all these things, y'all. I'm telling you, you know it. Whoever watching me, you know things. And these people didn't like that and you was triggering them. People finna walk away from these people and these people finna be on the news and they finna go to jail. All because they decided to mess with you when they could have just left you alone. Yeah, you know stuff. You could even speak about stuff. But how was anybody going to know it was them? They made themselves known. That's the thing. Nobody wouldn't have even known that it was such and such Thomas. How was how was how was you going to know out of all the people watching you or out of, out of what? However, people could know that you were psychic. That it was Thomas that did such and such. You see what I'm saying? How the, how the, how they was going to know it was Eltha or Bertha? How was they going to know? They told it on themselves. So not everybody know that they involved in it. Look, Storm. Didn't I tell you? Y'all, I'm telling you, God could be moving you out the way. And as soon as he moves you out the way, baby, it's going to be a storm. It's, I'm telling you, it's going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm telling y'all, see, I ain't making nothing up. And y'all, I barely use this deck like that. I usually use my tarot. I ain't making it up. It's, I'm telling you, it's, and it's finna hit. See, these are people here that felt like they weren't going to get caught. Felt like because of the, whoever they tied into that. They, they wasn't going to go down. They can get away with bullying you, stalking you, invading your privacy, watching you and your kids in the house and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They were paying police officers uh, to not do reports or they was paying. They could have even had some people in the, a part of the FBI that was involved and they was paying these people. You hear me? They was tied in with a lot of people and they felt like that they was never going to get caught. Because y'all, when it comes to these gang stalkers, they be having people everywhere in high places. You go to the bank, one of them at the bank. Somebody at the news. Oh, it be somebody there watching. You be having good people there, but you got one of them there. You got one of them there at the bank. You got one of them there at the driving license center. You got one of them there when you go pay your light and your, 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 your light bill at. You got one of them there at the school you go to. You got one of them there that's probably teaching your kids. You got one of them there somewhere at the doctor that you go to or the hospital you at. I'm telling you, whoever these people are, it's huge and they finna go down. It's finna be a storm. I'm telling you, mark my words. And I know what I be talking about. People finna be walking away from these people. The truth finna... Yo, I can't... Yo, the... Yo! Soon as I spit the dick, truth came out. These people tried to hide themselves. You see how he got paint on his face? He ain't want to be seen. The truth finna get ready to come out. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you now. I know what I be talking about. Storm came out again. But this time Storm came out with reunion. So this is letting me know that you finna get ready to reunite with your, your twin or high level soulmate. But maybe this truth had to come out because too much was going on for you all to live a peaceful life. If people were stalking you, gang stalking you, harassing you, it's cameras in your home. They always knowing where you at. You know what I'm saying? It was too much going on for this thing to come together and God wasn't going to bring it together until the truth came out and these people were exposed and in and, and, and jail. For some of y'all, that was the delay. You had a whole lot going on. People was attacking you. They were stalking you. A whole community. Because of what you know, they wanted people to look at you as crazy. Also, people won't believe what you know about them. Just imagine a pastor at a church in your community involved into drug trafficking and sex trafficking or involved in murders. Why wouldn't he want somebody to 
want you to know what you know, to see what you picking up on every day. Doing spell work on you so you won't pick up on nothing. Trying to harass you so much to where you unalive yourself. Why wouldn't he? You think he want to be exposed? No, 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 no. And that's what was going on with some of you all. You had people in high places. And they were paying money to have people gang stalk you. They had people doing this. Yeah. They had people doing this to you. But you're about to reunite with your divine counterpart. This truth had to come out first though. Yeah. I feel like this situation here caused you to go into your north node here. All right. Yeah. How your stuff activated your person too. Because I feel like they could have started trying to watch your person as well. They could have started doing they, it. It could have started with you and then they start doing it to your person. So y'all could have been going through some of the same things. Like, yeah, this person definitely went through some type of spiritual transformation as well. Okay. Spirit is wanting you to have compassion for this person. Because maybe, maybe he wasn't there when you was going through something. Okay. Maybe when you was going through these attacks in this community, maybe he wasn't around. You know what I'm saying? But just know everything happens for a reason. Because if these people were doing this to you, just imagine what they would have did if y'all was together at that time to him and y'all connection. You see what I'm saying? This person, your person, third eye is open though now. Okay. And spirit is wanting you to trust into and trust in divine time in here. And know that your, your twin here has definitely awakened here. Okay. And you all about to get a gift from God here. All right. And this gift, I feel like is this union. All right. You're going to be, you're going to be with your divine counterpart here. All right. Yeah. This person definitely went through an awakening. All right. But y'all definitely about to be together. And these people here, they about to go to jail. You finna be seeing a lot of stuff about them on the news, y'all. I'm telling you. It's going to be a lot of stuff happening. Either, I'm telling you, God going to have it to where they going to be up out of here. And you ain't got to worry about them no more. Or they finna go to jail. I'm telling you. You finna see it on the news too, though. I'm telling you. I guarantee you. Mark my words. And then something about fall time. Okay? It's May right now. Mark my word before 2024 is over. My readings are timeless. Okay. So it's whenever you see it. But right now when I'm recording this video, it's 2024. So mark my words. By the end of this year, you're going to be seeing a lot of these karmic people on the news. I'm telling you, it's going to be so much stuff being returned to them. They ain't going to have no choice but to leave you alone because they going to know messing with you is what's causing karma in their life. They might not see it right away, but they going to start seeing like, wait a minute, ain't nothing happening to her. She getting better, but us constantly attacking her. I'm losing my family, losing my friends, losing these people are going to start seeing that them attacking you and coming against you is causing them. I'm telling you bad karma and some of them to be unalive and taking major losses. And they're going to be like, dang, why is all this coming? Because of what they did to you. And you didn't have to do nothing. All You put it in God's hands. And that's it. It's going to be so much karma to go back to these people, y'all. I'm telling you, they're going to leave you alone. People are going to be scared to mention your name. 